Going into the 2010 William & Mary football season, the expectations were high. The 2009 team won a program record 11 games and battled down to the wire in a national semifinal of the NCAA playoffs. But the 2010 season would also have the challenge of installing a new starting quarterback. You know, at the time, it was the first time the quarterback job had opened up in a couple of years. Going into camp, it was, you know, get healthy, you make the most out of every rep and you know try to make the team better in any way that I could. One of the cool things that I appreciate about about Mike, about Ben Cottingham, about Evan Franks, like some of these senior leaders, everybody kind of had a chip on their shoulder. So Marcus Hyde, you know, Michael Stover, Harold Robinson. It seemed like everybody on our team had a little bit of extra to, to come with them in the game. And the team responded. Coming into the seventh game of the season, which was homecoming, their record was 5-1 and one with a top five national ranking and a victory over the number one ranked team and defending national champion Villanova. And the homecoming opponent? Number two ranked Delaware. So they came into the game with a lot of players that ended up playing on Sundays and, and had NFL careers. So we knew that we needed to bring our A game. Over the course of the first two quarters, Delaware made a few more plays and took a 13-3 lead into halftime. Going into the Delaware game, that was the first week that we really started throwing the football again. So I was strictly an emergency quarterback. And we really didn't even consider it until you know, maybe halfway through the third quarter. I think we were all super energized when Mike came in because nobody knew the system better than Mike. Mike was calling all the plays. Mike Mike was basically a, a coach on the field. That first drive, we went you know right down the field. Callahan, fake of a handoff, throwing towards the end zone. Guy reaches up, he grabs it. Touchdown, William and Mary. Touchdown, green and gold. Alex Gottlieb, the tight end, grabs it into the end zone. And when you really get a home crowd, you get a stadium like Zabel Stadium, right? It's not very big, it's very compact. It really felt like it was, it was our game. I'll never forget, it was Terrence Schmann. He was the signal man at the time. He signals the halfback pass, and at the end, you just point your hand like this. And that means that, you know, the, you know, the running back's throwing it. So, so, you know, I see the signal, I process it, I look back, and I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I look back and I'm waiting for everyone to nod their heads because I'm going, I don't think this is a good idea. I'd prefer to be the one throwing the ball. Are we sure we want to do this? And everyone is just nodding up and down like this. Completely serious. I'm like, okay, we're, yeah, we're doing it. Pitch back right side. Grimes, he's going to throw the ball in the end zone, and it's going to be caught. Touchdown, William and Mary. He just had to hold on to see if Chase Hill get his feet in bounds. He did, and how about that action? He could only throw the ball in one place, and he threw it in that exact place. And then Chase just, you know, uh, the toe tap in the back corner, it was unbelievable. And from there, I mean, you know, everybody was juiced, crowd was going nuts. The mentality was uh, all, all of this is for naught if we don't if we don't stand up and make a play. They had a really high powered offense. You can't keep good players down for long, but we knew that we needed to just make one stop. We needed to make one stand. And so that was a really big moment where I just got to pin my, my ears back and rush the quarterback. And uh, I remember being in that nickel package, which was really fun uh, for me uh, as a player uh, some of those moments that you don't, you don't really forget. Student section was going bonkers. You were feeling it from everywhere. We needed every every single play. 42 yards was just long enough for that guy to 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 not be accurate. I turn, I see wide left. The next thing I know. Laycock, his arms are like wrapped around me, told me he loved me. Alumni is in the locker room, you know, <laughs> I mean, it was it was a full blown party and celebration. Everyone was feeling, you know, the wide left. That game and the 2010 season was was magical in a lot of ways. I really hope that this team that we have this year and, and under coach coach London, has a chance and an opportunity to, to replicate those things. If anybody can do it, it's Coach London, right?